Ahoy! Mahoney here, and I'd like to welcome you to the newest series that we're starting in our uh, class this year. It's called Salute to Success. And it means just what it says. We're we'll saluting successes of students all throughout the school, and not just in academics, athletics, whatever we can find where we're trying to recognize students doing great things. So we hope you enjoy the series. Let us know. Give us your thoughts. But here will be Salute to Success. Hey, I'm Josh with Salute to Success. Our first episode is Legion Baseball. Please enjoy. I'm here today with Maddox Meyer, a pitcher and shortstop for the Mountain Legion team. Um, and I'm going to ask you two questions. So the first one is, what went through your head when you won that final district game to qualify for state? Honestly, it was an unreal moment. I mean, I've never been at that big of a stage, never made it to a state, to a state tournament. And Honestly, when that went through my head, I got a little bit emotional. You know, when you get to a state tournament, whether you win it or not, it's always a big accomplishment. And knowing that you got it going into that with a lot of confidence, it's a big feeling. Yeah, great answer. And uh, from the stands of Malcolm all the way to Creighton, which I may add was a three-hour drive, uh, how much did that support mean to you and the team seeing all that Clipper Blue and Malcolm gear in the stands? You know, it gives you a sense of confidence. If they travel that far, obviously they know you got something special going. And we knew that from the start, but we just needed the fans there with us. And the energy they brought was unreal. It kept everyone in the game between the guys in the field and even in the dugout. It just had a lot of energy, and it made us play better. So I'm Josh Stewart here with Mason Wisniewski from the Malcolm Legion baseball team. I'm here, at, here to ask you a couple questions. So the first question is, what work did you put in during the offseason that helped you grow as a player? Off-season lifting and um, hitting with, on Sundays with the team, just about weekly. I mean, got a lot better from it. Nice. The second question would be, looking forward to next season, what steps will you take as a team to keep the winning streak going? Um, just about the same. I mean, hitting, hitting the off-season, throwing, getting stronger. I mean, that's, that's about all it, all it is. Okay, today I'm here with Colt Riley. He's a right fielder for our senior legion team and the occasional catcher. Um, my first question for you, Colt, is what sense of confidence did seeing the juniors team win it bring to you and the senior team coming into districts and even state? They just showed that they had the winning mentality in their minds already and hoping they'd like to do it again. Okay, um, explain to me the chemistry within the team, having most of the guys played spring ball together, and then now legion. How did that play a role? Well, after practicing for so long with the same people for, I don't know, near six months, then we just started clicking together and everything. This summer, the Malcolm and Junior Season Legion teams competed for state titles. Both teams coming away with one. The juniors finished the season as 24-1-2 and district final and state champions. The season was led by Maddox Meyer, Mesa Wozniski, Owen Little, and Carson Frank, holding up a majority of the pitching. The bats played a key role in the success of the season. The juniors began their postseason with a first-round win in the District C3 tournament against Bennett Palmyra. A second-round game was played against Tecumseh, with Malcolm coming on top 10-1. to Syracuse proved a tough matchup in the third round to go to the district championship. Malcolm entered the seventh inning down 3-0 until Maddox Meyer, with two runners on a hit, a monster home run to tie the game 3-3. The game ended up going nine innings until Tyler Thiemann scored on a sacrifice fly from Elliott Robotham to put Malcolm up. The juniors ended up holding Syracuse and earning their spot to the district championship. Malcolm ended up beating Elmwood Murdoch, Nuhaka to earn their chance to play Creighton for a state title. Just a few days later, state rolled around with the first round game against Wakefield, with Malcolm winning 5-0. From there on, it was almost a smooth sail for the Clippers. A walk-off home run by Hayden Frank for the run rule gave a second round win against DCB. A first matchup to Imperial was another win, 7-1 with the 12-strikeout game by Mason Wisniewski and a three-hit performance by Maddox Meyer. Pender stood in the way for the juniors from retrieving a spot in the state final and the game went like most. Malcolm secured a 10-2 win behind a 4 and 2 thirds inning performance by Owen Little and a four-hit day by Carson Frank. The game ended on another Hayden Frank home run, this one being a grand slam to put the cherry on top. The championship game was a rematch with Imperial where the juniors won 6-0 behind a 13-strikeout complete game from Maddox Meyer. Cody Sykes, Hayden Frank, and Mason Wisniewski each racked in three hits, with Frank having three RBIs. The Malcolm Juniors team completed the com 
complete tournament sweep going 5-0 in the week. A few crazy stats from the tournament. Malcolm scored a total of 37 runs compared to the only 5 runs they gave up. Malcolm's pitchers accounted 54 strikeouts, meaning out of the 99 possible outs from the entire pitching staff, 55% of them were strikeouts. The senior legion team started off in districts right where the juniors left off. There was only a day break from the junior championship and senior district's first round, which led to no break in the Malcolm success. The seniors had a first round bye before they handled business against Louisville Weeping Water, winning 11-0. Wins followed in the next rounds against UTAN and North Bend. Malcolm had great pitching performances by Connor Zegar, Mason Wazinski, and Jacob Clark. The championship game was a rematch of Malcolm vs. UTAN, with the seniors coming away with a 7-1 dub. Maddox Meyer led the way with 9 Ks and 3 hits. The back end of Malcolm's order played a key role, with Gavin Dunsey and Carson Frank bringing in 2 RBIs apiece, and Logan McGreer adding another one. This recent summer marks the first time since 2014 that Malcolm's juniors and seniors teams both qualified for state. The senior state tournament was played in Worcester, Nebraska. Malcolm came into the tournament with a tough first round game. Battle Creek held a lead going to the bottom of the seventh when somehow the seniors pulled in a comeback. Dunsey started off the inning with a single fall, followed by a McGreer walk and a rallying hit by pitch. Maddox Meyer hit a single that brought in courtesy runner Cody Sykes and McGreer for Malcolm runs. The next wild pitch, Rowling stole home, making the score 4 4. Connor Zegar and Hayden Frank were intentionally walked, leaving it all up to Wisniewski. Wizzy, as he's nicknamed, doubled on a liner to right field that scored Zegar to win the game in the bottom of the seventh, 5 4. DCB sat in line next for Malcolm. With the record of having only one loss, it proved to be a good one. A gutsy performance by Meyer on the mound led Malcolm to a tight victory 2 1. The next game featured a matchup from the regular season against Syracuse. The game was tied 2-2 going into the bottom of the six when Hayden Frank singled to drive two runs to put Malcolm up. Carson Frank earned the win with Jake Clark getting the save. Malcolm played another match, this time against Battle Creek. The game started with a Hayden Frank three-run homer and a Wisniewski two RBI double that gave Malcolm a quick lead. Another homer by Frank added to the lead. Malcolm came away with an 8-4 win and a spot in the championship game. Jacob Clark had a great pitching performance with 9 strikeouts and only 3 walks. The championship game was a good one. Malcolm Run ruled the previous repeat champs DCB 11-3. It was an all-around team performance for the seniors, but Clark stood out having 6 RBIs in the win. Zegar went all 6 innings with 11 strikeouts and proved to be an ace all year. Malcolm seniors finished 26-2, capping off a summer to remember. Malcolm's junior and seniors postseason combined to be 18-0 two area tournament titles, and two state championships. The combined record was 50 wins, three losses, and two ties. This is also the fourth time both teams have swept juniors and seniors state in 48 years. Hopefully the success for the baseball program does not stop after this summer, with a lot of young talent returning that played key roles. They first look to avenge a district runner-up title from last year during spring baseball. And that's a wrap for the first episode of Salute to Success. We hope you liked it. A lot of time and effort put in by these guys, and uh, I think they did a great job. If you have any ideas or you want us to salute someone else's success that's a student at Malcolm Schools, please reach out to us. Send us an email. We'll check them, and we hope that you watch for the next episode of Salute to Success.